All right, hello everyone. As Leon said, I'm gonna tell you about our Dishvande project where we've taken the simple concept of stress and used it to re-engineer translation in cells for boosted protein production. And this is a company that we're spinning out of MIT called Kodomax, which is focused on precision biologics. And we can use our technology to solve current bottlenecks that biomanufacturers are facing in the cost-effective and high-yielding production of their products. This can be used for the low-cost production of biosimilar therapeutic products. And in particular, we can enable the advancement of new therapeutics that are based on difficult to express protein sequences. So we're focused on these biomanufacturing issues because there's inherent inefficiencies in the biomanufacturing process that ultimately limit protein supply. And these start from the get-go when you take a gene sequence and you put it in a host organism to encode your protein, there's a range of biological challenges stemming from adapting that gene's codon usage to the cell type of interest, ensuring proper assembly of your protein macromolecule, and there's stresses on the system that will ultimately uh, compound all of these issues. And this all leads to increased cost, time, and labor to make your protein, which then demands greater infrastructure. So all of these challenges bottleneck to the synthesis of your protein in low yields and for high costs. Our solution to some of these biological challenges in particular stems from our team's discovery of a new system in cells by which cells will adapt to stress conditions that they face. And in response to stress, the cells will reprogram how they synthesize their proteins. And one such stress that's particularly relevant for us is the stress of protein overproduction for manufacturing. So we've developed a platform technology based on the system that we call the Epimax platform technology. And this helps us achieve boosted protein production in cells by first applying omics and mass spec uh, approaches to measure exactly how the cell will respond to the specific stresses related to production of your protein of interest. And then we use the data from these measurements with our proprietary epitranscriptomic software package to re-engineer the expression system and the messenger RNA encoding that protein to fit these stress response conditions. And this will allow for enhanced messenger RNA expression for boosted protein production. Our platform is capable of achieving at least a 240% boost in protein yields in Pichia yeast. And these boosts in yields are relative to an already codon optimized and enhanced gene for protein expression. But in addition to boosting expression, we can also decrease expression about tenfold. And this allows us a range of 20 fold where we can tune gene expression, where we could then apply this technology to impair proteins that are detrimental to the synthesis of your final recombinant protein. And in addition, we found that tissues in the human body each have their own specific conditions of uh, translation, and we can then tune the messenger RNA sequences to have specific uh, expression in their target tissue of interest. So with our technology, we can enable the synthesis of challenging proteins that are based on these difficult to express gene sequences where current manufacturers are struggling to even achieve minimal yields of their protein. We can also increase the production efficiency because we are increasing the protein output from the same cell system and the same manufacturing conditions, which will reduce costs. And because all of the changes we're making are actually on the messenger RNA level, we can also improve the efficacy of messenger RNA therapeutics. The market for protein production is quite broad and it spans a wide range of sectors from therapeutics to alternative foods to vaccines and reagents. And our technology is ultimately industry agnostic where we can work in service partnerships with manufacturers from any of these industries to optimize their protein expression systems by optimizing their expression vectors, where we can optimize the gene encoding their protein and tune it for early and late stages of production stresses in their manufacturing run. And we can also add in genes for critical auxiliary proteins such as chaperones and tRNAs that are critical for the functional synthesis of your recombinant protein of interest. However, the therapeutics industry has some unique bottlenecks that our technology is primed to help tackle. 
namely the issue of these difficult to express proteins. So many therapeutics are difficult to express in commercially viable yields and in a cost-effective manner, but also many therapeutics are complex molecules such as antibodies that require proper assembly of all of their different multimeric domains in the right ratios. So we can not only tune the antibody itself, but we can tune the proteins required to assemble the antibody to further help assembly and functional synthesis of your products. And as I mentioned, we have been able to determine that different tissues in the human body have their own unique stresses on translation. So we can use this data to optimize expression of messenger RNA therapeutics for target tissues or gene therapies as well. Um, so our team is primed to tackle these issues. Our two academic co-founders have spent 15 years discovering the system of stress response for protein synthesis. And we also have significant startup leadership and entrepreneurial experience on our team. And our team is here today, and we are happy to chat more at our poster. In particular, we're looking for introductions to investors, as well as biomanufacturing companies and messenger RNA therapeutics companies with bottlenecks that our technology could potentially provide solutions for. And thank you for your attention.